This is The Art of Thought, episode 13, recorded on October 17, 2018. My name is Kwaku Asafu J, and this episode, I'm going to go through some of the interesting things that I like. Peeves. So I called it peeve for a reason, but you can see I'm going to be talking about what I hate about things. Might be a shorter one, but I just really wanted to get across that. And um, this this little thing here just needs the distractions. There's a peeve right there. But I wanted to get that across because it's just annoying um, certain peeves. So what are peeves? Peeves are things that annoy us pretty much. So I'm looking here on Wikipedia. Um, actually, you know what? Let me transition over to view desktop and face here. Um, I'm looking at I'm looking at Wikipedia. And Wikipedia says a peeve or pet aversion or pet hate is a minor annoyance um, that an individual identifies as particularly irritating to them <clears throat> to a greater degree than that would be expected based on the experience of others. So based off of what I'm seeing right here, you know, and what you're seeing right there. And actually, you know what, let me before I even go into that, um, this is the origin of concept. So. Obviously, I don't know if this is 100% correct, if this is the origin of peeves, like what people actually brought it to um, the mainstream or actually brought it to thinking about. Um, but it says here, origin of concept, the noun peeve meaning annoyance is believed to have originated in the United States early in the 20th century, derived by the back formation of actually, you know, what? let me let me zoom this in a little bit. Where is reading view? It doesn't have a reading view. Okay. But let me zoom this in a little bit. Because I know it's a lot of, a little hard to read. Okay. It says uh, the noun peeve, meaning annoyance, is believed to have originated from the United States <clears throat> in the 20th century, derived by back formation from the adjective peevish, meaning ornery or ill-tempered, which dates from the late 14th century, the term pet peeve was inter, inter, intr, introduced to a wide readership in the single panel comic Little Pet Peeve in the Chicago Tribune during the 1916 through 1920 period. Um, Little Pet Peeve was created and drawn by Frank King, who is more famous as the creator of uh, Gasoline Alley comic, comic strip. Uh, King King's little pet peeves were humorous critiques of generally thoughtless behaviors. Some were more, some were particular to his time, such as reading the titles in silent films out loud or cracking an egg only to smell that it's gotten rotten. Others seem to, others seem current over the current hundred years or over, over a hundred years later. I cannot read, uh, like backseat drivers the and rugs that are are forever catching the bottom of the door and bunching up. Uh, King's readers submitted some of the little, oh my goodness, submitted some of the little pet peeves, including uh, theater goers who wrap candy in crinkly paper and during a live performance. Uh, and it says, and from a 12-year-old boy having his mother come in to sweep when he has pieces of a building toy spread out on the floor. So... That's that's essentially pet peeves in a in a nutshell. It's like just things you probably it's probably subconscious that you're not really thinking about it, but it annoys people. Um, it annoys people quite a lot, and um, and annoys me. Some of these things uh, I can understand, like carpet that won't stay on the ground and it just bunches up next to a door. So when you like, I'm just gonna say right now when you when I open up my bathroom door, um, and like we have this little. I want to say it's about as the carpet is about as thick as this PlayStation 4 controller, maybe a little thinner as this PlayStation 4 controller because it's a memory foam carpet. And that carpet, every time I open the door, it just imagine imagine this being the door. And let me brush this off. And like I open the door. This is just a little stand for my uh, speed light. So imagine open the door and it just bunches up and it just curls up like that. You know how annoying that actually is. So that's that is kind of annoying, according to um this Wikipedia concepts of conceptualizing it. Um, it is a very annoying thing. I'm trying to see if I can get a reading view of it, but it won't come up. But I want to say 
part of my pet peeves. It's it's kind of an annoying thing. It's like one of my pet peeves is like when you. It's a simple pet peeve that everyone has, most likely. But when you chew out loud, I'm not gonna make the sound because it's just annoying. Um, when you chew out loud, like you're just like ah, you just even if you're. I'm not saying if you're if you're really opening your mouth like ah, just eating like crazy. I'm just saying like when you're. When you eat, and rather than doing this, you know, uh, for those of you listening, obviously you can't can't really tell what I'm doing unless you watch the video. But basically, what I'm doing is you closing your mouth to eat, and people say, "Don't open your mouth, don't show what's in your mouth uh, when you're eating." Obviously, it's because it looks gross when it's all chewed up and mashed apart. But like when you close your mouth to eat and you're eating, you know, naturally with your mouth closed. Well, not naturally, but with your mouth closed. That's how people want you to eat. However, there's those people who also, they eat just generally with their mouth partially open, not not wide dentist open, you know, but like partially open. They're like this. They're like, they eat kind of like that. And they're always just, you see their teeth as they're biting and stuff. You can probably hear my teeth biting each other or touching each other. Um, but that, it's just an annoying peeve. Um, when you just eat with your, even your mouth partially open and I can hear all of the thing. Or if you just chew too fast, honestly. Because when you chew too fast, I still hear the sound of uh, the food in your mouth. And it's it's kind of annoying. I say your as if I'm talking to you guys because, you know, it's kind of a conversation. Um, but that's that's kind of part of the peeves that I just I just don't I just don't like. It's just annoying. Um, another thing that I, I probably don't like as one of my peeves um honestly would be when you're trying to stay on track with something you know whether you're recording a show or you're working with a group project on something and as much as you keep trying as much as someone like your supervisor or just someone next to you your coworker, whatever it is tries to keep you on track um you just keep on deterring from that track and you keep on like just doing something completely off of the track it's just annoying um, when you're just trying to focus and get the thing done, especially when time is a rel as a essence, um, that's one of my things. Um, Cause I have plenty of friends that when we're doing things, sometimes probably is me. Sometimes probably them. Cause again, it's subconscious. You don't really, you, you can't really, a lot of time you can't tell that you're really doing it. You're not really, you're not, that's just your natural you, you know? So um, we all have the friends that do that. What is this? Okay, that is LinkedIn. Um, and it won't even mute because this iPad Pro, it just for some reason doesn't have a mute switch. They took off the little switch thing. But that's that's a side peeve. That's a tech peeve, which I'm not even going to get into. I'm just talking about personal peeves here. So another peeve is like when I'm in the gym um, and I work out with somebody or someone says, hey, I want to uh, mind if I jump in, work in with you. And I'm just like, sure. And what they do say if we're lifting free weights which is like your dumbbells or whatever this is a battery right here there's a camera battery say if you're lifting free weights and stuff and like i put down my free weight down in a certain spot say on this table for instance in a certain spot so it's easy to get to next time um one annoying thing with that is that uh when the thing i hate about that is that say say they work with me and use the same weight when they work with me with the same weight they don't put it down in the same spot uh, they they put it down in like some awkward angle they they put it sideways they put it in a different area where i have to actually walk over to grab it or something they don't make it simple for us to just keep picking it up and keep going with the workout and so that's one of my gym pet peeves is like just if you're gonna work with me and use the same stuff as me um when you finish using the same weight as me, just put it back in the spot that we started off with um, because that makes it easy for the next time to come pick it up and move on. And so that's that's one of the annoying things with me with gym pet peeves. Um, in fact, while we're at the gym pet peeve thing, another thing that I don't like about uh, another peeve, it's a slight peeve, but it's a, it's a subtle peeve because the people doing it don't really know what's going on. Like they can't, 
they can't tell what's going on. Like they can't tell what I'm what I'm doing or something like that. Um, if I just go and get water or something like that real quick and it's right next to the machine that I'm using and people see that my stuff is sitting on the um on the surface, on the chair, or the seat, whatever it is, and then they come by and use the machine anyway. And we all know that when you're about to use the machine, when you're using the machine in the middle of when someone else is using the machine, even though you can tell they purposely put that object on the machine so that way they, no one else touches it, you're going to do more than like one set. You're not going to do one thing and then get up and go. You're probably going to be doing it for like a good maybe three sets at least. Um, one thing I don't like is that when I come back and I see someone on the machine, even though they saw that my drink was on there or whatever it was there, just I put it there on purpose just so that way no one could tell that I was using the, so that way people could tell that I was using the machine or it's being used. Um, but people just people just shrug it off and then they do one set and get up and go. And it's like, clearly you are, you know, I don't know whether you just wanted to take a seat. You just want to stretch your legs. I don't know what it was, but for some reason you decided to sit down on this machine that I was using that I clearly put something on it so that way no one touches it. You, you, you used it and you're sitting there on it when I come back and you get up after you're done you know, I let you finish because I'm not going to be rude. I let you finish your your one set. And I don't even mind if the per this person comes back and like works in with me, which means that you're working in tandem with me. So when I get up, then you're getting you're sitting down on it. And then when I, when you sit down, I'm standing up, maybe doing something else. I don't mind if you do that. But one thing that I just don't like is that when they just sit there, even though and they just they just push everything aside that you were doing and just sit there and waste time. And it's just annoying to me. Um. Another thing, another gym pet peeve, because I've been to the gym more and more lately and I'm just I'm noticing these things. Um, another gym pet peeve. Can I can I think about it? Um, another gym pet peeve. What was this gym pet peeve? I can't. Oh, oh, oh OK. So another gym pet peeve is this. When I am looking from afar, I talked to this. I talked about this to one of my friends a while ago. Um, and when I'm looking from, when I'm doing, say a pull up or anything actually in the gym, there's a good chance that I'm looking at, oh, I'm looking around at my gym and I'm like, man, uh, what can I use next to continue working out without taking like 20 minutes in between whatever I'm doing or five minutes where I lose my heart rate, my heart rate drops back down and it's at resting again, keep my heart rate moving. Um, so I'm looking and I notice someone is using a machine and I'm like, okay, so they're using it. I guess I should just, you know, let them finish up what they're doing. I'm not going to rush them. But then I, I look back after my set and I look back and they're still using it. And then I can, the one thing that I'm saying from this is that I, I really hate when um, people use their phones in the gym. I'm not saying you text them all the time. I mean, I'm not saying you text occasionally because everyone, you know, you eventually you got to respond to whatever happened, but I have friends, I have seen people, I have family, I have just, we all have this. Um, we have people who, when they go to the gym, their phone is in their lap, it's in their hand, and they are texting like crazy, they are on Facebook, they're not doing anything important, most likely, because you can kind of see by the, as, as intrusive as it is, most gyms have mirrors all the way around um, the gym, pretty much, and you can kind of see, like, what exactly is going on on the phone that's so important that you need to... You need to use for like, what, five minutes straight in the middle of your set. Like, is there a reason for it? So one thing I hate is that some people, when I want to use the next machine, and I know this person is probably taking a breather before their next set, one to two minutes is fine. But you take five minutes and you're on your phone the whole time, you lose this, you lose focus and you just, you just, you're, it's not worth, the set is not worth it anymore. So Jim Pet Peeve, uh, number three, I believe, is that I really don't like when, uh, people are on their phone too long in the gym. Actually, and I'll add to that, and to the point where they're not, to the point where they're not focused and they're not just getting in and out. You know, some people spend like five hours in the gym. I've heard some people love can spend five hours in the gym. I don't know what kind of thing your body d needs to spend five hours in the gym straight, unless the gym is a hundred percent packed and you have to wait a long time between each person that you need to use their stuff next. I don't know why you would need five hours in the gym, but some people just either take a lot of breaks and whether they're texting, whether they're on the phone, whether they're chatting with friends, all that stuff is kind of annoying to me because most of us that are in the gym, uh, when we work out, even though we go there all the time, most likely, uh, we don't like 
we don't like being there all the time. We want to get in and out and be done with it because it's just one place out of all the many places that you could be going to. So it's, it's just a gym pet peeve. And it's like, it's really annoying when you have to, when you have to, um, witness that when you're in the gym, when you just want to get out of the gym, uh, as much as you love going there. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Actually, this is some good tea. It's kind of sweet though. I felt it in my teeth, but yeah, so that was, that was, that was some gym pet peeves. I know I went on a rant because this, this subject is, you know, actually really interesting to me because I just, I just love the idea of just having, you know, of, of talking about things that, things that people don't normally bring up. Gym pet peeves. Um, it's, it's just something that people don't bring up often and more and more, uh, you know, I'm sure people will come up. I should have brought my friend on today to talk about this too, because he, he most likely has something to say since he's a trainer in the gym that I go to and he probably witnesses some things that, um, none of us really like, like a lot of people don't like. So, um, moving on, moving on from gym pet peeves, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to housemates. Okay. Housemate, housemate can be family, can be friends, whatever. Housemate pet peeves. Um, housemate pet peeves that I, I don't like. And for those of you who are like a housemate pet, pet peeve, what is that? Housemate pet peeve is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's pet peeves that um, happen inside your house with people you live with um, that you just don't like. And, you know, to some people, it's like, man, I hate when people leave the dish- dishes and the dirty dishes in the sink. I'm going to come up to that in a second. Um, and to others, it's like minor things, other minor things. Like I hate when they walk over a, a Dorito and they don't pick it up. That's kind of annoying when you know that it's there and you can easily clean it up. So I'm going to say pet peeve number one for housemates. Um, even though I'm partially guilty of that, I don't, I don't fully do this, but I hate housemates that the dirty dishes thing that I said I'd talk about. I hate housemates that leave, that leave dirty dishes in the sink for weeks I'm not saying like two days because, you know, sometimes we're busy schedules and we have to like run in and out twice. Maybe a boss says something or we have to, we're doing a project or something like that. But I hate housemates that bring that, that leave dishes, a ton of dishes. Imagine, imagine on this iPad here, I put this belt on here. I put uh, my wallet on here. I put this on here. I put oops i put this on here and then it just starts adding up i don't know if you guys can see it it just starts adding up and i i don't like when people leave too many things in the sink for too long because if you live by the water like i used to and um and if you or if you live in a city and you live in an apartment tower or something like that there's some dirty people in those buildings in those areas and when you live by the water roaches are and water bugs specifically they are specifically the ones attracted to food and nastiness. And like, I can understand if you are really busy for those two days and you're running in and out all the time, and then you're just too tired to do it because we all have that problem. I had that problem, but I do clean it up afterwards. Um, I don't always clean up immediately, obviously, but I, I clean up the sink. I at least wipe the stove and stuff afterwards to keep it fresh for the next time I want to clean. I want to, I want to cook. But I've had housemates that literally leave the food in the sink for days, weeks, you know. I've had housemates that leave trash in the trash can and never take it out for weeks. You know, this was college life, especially. So it's younger people. So they don't, they're they're probably used to living at home with parents that do all the work for them or parents tell them to pick it up. But me not being their parent, there's nothing I can do that will have them be like, I should probably pick this up. I just don't like it. It's it's annoying. It's it's frustrating to see it because like sometimes, especially if they end up using your own pot, you know, your own dish or whatever it is, if they use that and then they leave it in the sink, then next time you want to get up and use your own thing, then it's like, what am I going to do now? You know, you have to get up, you have to wash the dish 
they probably waited for you to do that. You have to wash the dish that they use so that you can use it. And then after you wash it, because you're done with it, then they will come up and use it and put it back in the sink till you want to use it again. And they will use every single dish in the entire cupboard or cabinet, whatever you call it, until it's, you know, until you have nothing left. And then if you have the crazy housemates, they'll probably go out and buy like disposables after that because they're too lazy to wash the dishes that are in the sink still. Um, that's kind of the extreme, but I've had that problem with people and it's just really annoying when you want to just, when you want to just move on and just, and just be done. You just want to get what clean, get food, you know, make food and you want to wash your thing and then you want to eat it. And then that's it. Or actually, you better yet, you want to you want to make food, get food, you want to make the food, and then you want to eat the food, and then you want to wash it afterwards. Even if you wash it after you watch like a movie or whatever it is, Daredevil or Iron Fist or whatever it is, which was canceled. So I, you know, it's pet peeves. It's just little things that irk me. It's just little things that irk me. If you work in a project environment where you're always working with people, I know this is not housemate pet peeves, but if it's just regular pet peeves if you if you work in an environment that you have to work with people i'm sure there's those people you know you bring your lunch you bring a lunch for like two days or something there's people who literally will go into that central fridge that has like all of your lunches that need to stay cold and they probably will straight up take some of your food you won't even notice until you started eating and then you'll be like i had more food what happened to it they'll probably straight up take your food that's really annoying because you just paid for your food or you made your food, you spent time out of your day, whether you argued with your wife or children or you had you had to deal with your dog annoying you while you were cooking, you you had to do that and yet they just straight up ate your food. Cuz they were too lazy or they didn't they didn't think you would notice. And that's just messed up, especially in a in a work environment, you know, where everything is pretty much shared in that way because company resources for the most part everything other than your food so that's just the work and what work pet peeve when people eat your food um i'm like i can't think of too much anymore um i have pet peeves that run that come up um definitely and i know we all do we have pet peeves that that occur and then they go away um i wish i could tell how long i've been doing this yeah, we all have pet peeves that have occurred and then they've they've dropped off and then they've reoccurred and dropped off again. But I don't know. It's it's rough having those pet peeves. Uh, it's pretty rough. Let me see something. How long have I been live? I cannot tell how long I've been live. But it's it's just really annoying. Uh, certain things that happen. So. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. This probably could have been more of like a video type thing um, rather than a podcast. But like, I just thought it'd be interesting to get it off my chest. Um, little little things that annoy most of us. And if you're like me, it probably does annoy you. Um, little things that annoy most of us. And I just wanted to get off my chest because, you know, this is a this is a a public personal diary in a way. The art of thought. It's a public personal diary. And so in some ways, you know, you might actually, I'm, I'm actually trying to get this thing ready. In some ways, you might just be like, oh, man, I just don't want to deal with this right now. And I just I just want to get things off my chest. And that's what this show is for. So I'm going to close this up. I don't know if I'll keep this as the main one, but I'm going to close this up and saying that pet peeves, they're, they, they are things that irk us, things that annoy us. It might not be something like someone clicking their pen completely. Where, I don't even have a pen here. It might not be someone like click that clicks a pen consistently in class or someone that opens up a soda bottle slowly in the movie theater as if movie opening it slower is going to make it less annoying. Or same thing for opening a bag of chips in a movie theater as if that's going to be less annoying than just opening the bag and being done really quickly. Um, sometimes they feel like doing it longer and slower will be uh, opening the, you know, the object longer and slower will be easier on the brain than just opening it up and being done and having getting ready to eat it people chewing food open you know not fully like crazy like savage open but just chewing food open uh with their mouth slightly open and you can just hear every little crunch if it's like a soft object you can hear all the little kind of squeaks and stuff like that um those little things chewing with their mouth open 
leaving food in the sink. Um, what else is there? People who are overly dirty to the point where like they leave every big of every bit of food and pots, pan not pots and pans, but like plates and everything, forks in their room, and it just stacks up. The next thing you go know is when they move out, you just see like a bunch of plates that have like old residue on it. Um, pe people who just they 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 complain about where their where their valuables are after they've moved out, after you've already told them to look into their thing before you take a look at it because you don't know what's great for them and they won't come in and they think you have all the time in the world. People who do that, they don't put their values in a safe place and then they just end up complaining later on when it's missing. All of that is just annoying and I wish to all of us that we could have a more a more just a chill time living so this was uh this was the art of thought i know it's a little different one i'm doing them all differently now it's just i'm just running through it I'm running through it this was the art of thought less conversational more just me just rambling on but i just like this you know this type of thing because it's just allows me to just get things off my chest and make me uh make me feel better maybe you guys can relate to it so as always you can find me right there i think you can see it if you are watching it right there um right behind this mesh thing right here you see my name kweku asafu a j or asafwa j um from ghana and you can um i'm living in ghana living in virginia and you can find my instagram that guy Quay. it's kwe at the end it's all together um and then you can see some of my photography stuff when you click on my profile you'll see a link to my uh, images by kweku account as well um you can also find this podcast on spreaker google podcast apple podcast stitcher tune in radio soon iheart radio um and spotify you can find it all on there and also you can find the show notes even though there's really none today um you can find all of it on helixmedia.com that is h-e-l-u-x media.com it's live now it's been live since like a week ago or two weeks ago and take a look at all the show notes take a look at all the shows that i do i am also doing a technology show on saturdays at 12 uh, p.m 12 p.m eastern it is next techery nxt techery you can find that one also i'm not even gonna plug that right now because i just i just don't i just don't feel like that but you can find that one also just you know on the website helixmedia.com h-e-l-u-x so as always um hope you guys enjoy everything that's going on right now but yeah hope you guys have a nice wednesday nice hump day and it's uh 142 as i'm finishing this and yeah take care everyone